Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is Dancing with the Stars, Season 19, and this is Week 6. Now, I find it very important that I actually put this video up other over the other ones, actually, because um, a lot of people didn't even know here in Pittsburgh, um, we a lot of us, we missed it because the show actually aired at like 1.41 in the morning because there was a football game. So we had Monday Night Football. So a lot of people actually missed the show. So here it is. Um, I definitely got this. I, I, I found it because I was DVR. And I actually did get the show. So, and I'm so happy that it happened because this was one of the best shows. We had Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, was the special guest as well as the guest um, judge. Love Pitbull. And he opened up the show and turned the ballroom out, just like Jesse J did last week. He did Fireball, and he had all the professional dancers. They burned that goddamn ballroom floor up. It was all that. And they had the sets going, and they had fire. It was Mr. Worldwide. I love Pitbull. I really do. He really got down, and he had this really sharp um, suit on with the uh, mahogany jacket with the black edging and... Oh, the black pants, the black shirt, he was clean as hell. Clean as hell. But I love the opening. Then I found out Leah Remini was actually going to be the guest. She was standing there for Aaron. Aaron was doing something outside, and we had Leah Remini. And she is absolutely excellent at this job. Aaron better bring her ass on back quickly, because Leah Remini did a damn fantastic job um, as the co-host on Dancing with the Stars. So let's just get right on into it. Our first dance was Jonathan and Allison, and they did a Pitbull song from uh, Men in Black. Um, it was, you know what, I that Allison, I really like her. I'm liking her more and more, and not just her choreography. I like her choreography, and I like how creative she is, but her as a person. I just see the way she deals with Jonathan. And, you know, she told him, be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't always try to lean on the comedy and this, that, and the other. Be you. You know, she actually, she didn't embarrass him or anything like that on camera. She took him outside and she talked to him and they were, you know, they just printed it up. What was being said. You know, she didn't embarrass him or anything. Came back and he had her best dance that he has done while he's been there. Um, I was so proud of him. I really was. Because, you know, he's kind of goofy. You know what I mean? And that's not even really who he is. And you remember last week when he was doing all the lifts and stuff, we thought he was going to drop Peter, and I was going to be real, real mad at him. But he did lifts with Allison this week. Every lift was excellent. He didn't even make any mistakes. There were no mistakes. It was the best dance he's had since he's been there. So I really enjoyed that. Um, and again, I'm watching that Allison. I'm watching her. I like her as a person. I like who she is as a person, as well as a choreographer and a professional. So, that being said, I really love their dance. Um, moving on, next was Janelle and Val. Okay, so it's out of the bag, basically. Janelle and Val are going to be a couple. Um, they did a samba, and it was very sexy, but you could just see the tension, and they basically kind of admitted to it, you know, that they, they really are digging each other. And they're a really good looking couple because you know, that vowel is sharp. And so is Janelle. So that's cute. I'm, I'm cute. I'm good with that. I'm good with them being a couple. And they were good. They really were. They were good. Next, some of my favorites, Tommy and Peter. Tommy and Peter, um, this was a rough one. They, you know, they told Tommy that he was kind of slow last week. So he ended up uh, going to a sweat tent. And uh, Peter went with them. It's up on an Indian reservation. And, you know, so she was very respectful of all of what it was all about and what it, you know, what it gives. And they went up and they did that. And then they did this really funny little skit with uh, Cloris Leachman um, up and she's talking to him from heaven and all of this stuff. And it was really, really cute. And it was really funny. Um, but then it worked. You know, the spirituality of it, you know. There's spirituality is a whole other thing. We're not going to talk about that on this video, but you believe in what you believe in. Um, I'm going to leave it alone. We're going to talk about that on this video because this is not that video. We don't go that deep on here. Um, Tommy came down and was totally re-energized re and did a great dance. Um, it was cool. You know, he forgot some steps, but Tommy's old. There ain't no big deal. But the energy level 
was right back up. So it was cool. Sweat, tent, all that. It was cool. Okay, moving on. Next we had Antonio and Cheryl. Here they run into another bump in the road while they're perform while they're uh, rehearsing. Cheryl gets a call. Her dad is really, really sick. So they had to deal with all of that. It was no problem. Antonio, you know, got right behind her and was like, you know, let's do what we got to do. If you need to go, you go, whatever. Her dad sent a message, said, no, 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 nothing will make me happier than to see you dance on Monday night. You know, so I'll be fine. You stay there. And he's doing, you know, he's fighting and he's getting better and everything like that. They danced their heart out. They had a great dance. Um, it was really emotional, you know, and everything. It was it was a rough one, but it was cool. And he is actually getting better, and she did report that. Um, it was cool. It was cool. But I loved how Antonio wasn't selfish. Like, oh, well, I'm not going to have this. I'm not going to have that. He was like, no, no, you do what you need to do, and then we'll make it work from there. So that was cool. I like that Antonio anyway, though. Um, next, we had Sadie and Mark. They did Diamond. Rihanna's Diamonds. And you know, I just love that daggone song. Um, Sadie was really is a rumba. You know, rumba is very sexual. Sadie was very nervous. Um, they did have to meet with, they met with grandma and her mom and they needed to go over some things and then Mark actually is such a good sport. He went and he changed some things. You know, he took some things out. Uh, she had this really cute dress Real cute. It wasn't cutesy cutesy, but it was it was nice. Like it was a nice dress, but it didn't take her out of her, you know, what she does and who she is. It was really good. It was really good. She looked really good. You could tell she was still nervous about certain things that was going to go on, but the dance was gorgeous. It really was. It was gorgeous. It was scaled down, but it still had all the elements of the rumba, except for all the grinding and all of that stuff. And she, when she got up to, and Leah Remini be cutting up. She was cutting up the whole night. When she got up to Leah Remini, she said, you, Leah was like, you know, I got a little emotional because she said, that dance was everything that it should be and you were able to be who you were and didn't have to sacrifice anything about yourself. And she was like, you know, she still was a little nervous because she didn't know what her scores were going to be like. But they gave her good praise with the judge, but you never know what the numbers are going to be. So she, um, she's sitting there and she's like, I'm just glad it's over. You know what I mean? Well, the first score was from Carrie Ann and Abba, a nine. And she's like, oh my God. Then Pitbull, he loved the fact that it was all age appropriate, all that. He gave her a 10. And she just went to crying after that. She got to crying. She got two more eights after that. They couldn't get her to stop crying. Leah Remini's crying. I'm at home crying. It was a mess. I'm like, we're doing this every week. I'm just crying stuff. But it was it was the best. It really was it. But it goes to show who Mark is as a professional choreographer, because all of the hard stuff fell on Mark, keeping the dance authentic, keeping the family happy, keeping his his uh, dance partner happy. He did that. He did all that. So, you know, my hats off to Mark. I think he's doing a wonderful job with Sadie. And I actually saw in this. It's no fake. It's no 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 jive. That girl really is. She really is a good girl. She's genuinely a good girl, and she genuinely believes in those Christian um, beliefs that she has. So that was really for me. I guess all that brought the tears on. But I, I was really impressed that she's not doing this for TV. She actually is a good girl. She's she's good, and that's what she wants to be. So cool, 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 cool. Next, we had Alfonso and Whitney. That goddamn Alfonso dropped Whitney during a rehearsal, during a dress rehearsal. Side eye, Alfonso. Side eye. And he actually has a groin. Um, he has a groin injury. So we were like, hold it on for them. But they actually ended up going last. So we're going to skip back to last. Um, Leah and Artem were actually the next um, one. And they actually threw down. They really threw down. It was a really... And he had talked kind of bad to her. He was being kind of... She thought he was being mean. But... Um, mm -mm, it wasn't... It wasn't... I don't think that he was mean. I mean, he, he was doing what he had to do. And that was it. 
it was what it was. You know what I mean? So that being said, it was that. It was what it was. Okay. And then we had Michael and Emma. And I love what they did. Michael had his best dance so far. It was the best dance for him so far. And he had a black tux on it. She had a black bodysuit. Very Beyonce-esque. But the dance was fantastic. It really, really was. It was fantastic. Um, and that's that. Then we have Bethany and Derek. And Bethany and Derek, of course, they always do really well. Um, she slipped. So she had a perfect number. Perfect. And she slipped on her dress. So she lost one point. She got nines across the board. But other than that, it was perfect. And we are still seeing Bethany's actual, um, her personality. So finally, you know, finally, finally, finally. It's cool. And like I said, then the last dance was Alfonso and Whitney. Whitney powered through pain. He powered through his pain. And they gave a great number as usual. And you know we had to have somebody go. And it was Michael and Emma's time to go. But at least he had his best dance before he left. So that was it. Um, like I said, wonderful. I'm so sorry that everybody wasn't able to actually see it. You know what I mean? But um, it was fantastic. Leah Remini did a great job. And you know I love Pitbull, so Pitbull was all that. Anyway, oh, and then he did another number where he's dancing up on top of the judges' table. So I like that Pitbull. He, he brings the party. He really do. He brings the god dog on party. All right, guys, you can thumbs up or thumbs down the video. Um, you guys know how that works. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.